Hello, we are Team 9 Signify, and we would like to introduce you through this presentation to an app that aims to improve inclusion in learning in the workplace by revolutionizing sign language translation. This app is Signify. Next slide. The team behind this development includes me, Hannah, Sierra, Luis, and Tanaka. This also would not have been possible without our mentor, Arizu, who guided us throughout this process. When deciding on this problem, our member, Luis, was especially drawn to this one in particular due to his relationship with his cousin who is deaf and the difficulties he found in communicating with him due to not knowing sign language. Next slide. Imagine now that you are a customer going into your local grocery store. You have a question and want to find someone in the store who can help you, but you are deaf. When speaking with your family, you are fine communicating your needs, but here you don't know whether or not the next person you go up to will be able to understand you or communicate back. Imagine again that you are working behind the counter when a customer comes up to you asking for your help. You are ready to receive their requests, but notice that they aren't speaking, but instead pointing to their ear and communicating with gestures. You don't know sign language that well, maybe only simple signs you learned before, and so you are struggling to fully understand and communicate with this person. Both people are trying, but the language barrier leaves the both of you feeling frustrated and misunderstood. This example is one of the sudden situations that can pop up in everyday life that most people are not readily equipped for. This specific situation was one shared during an interview we conducted with one individual, but the challenges presented can be recognized by anyone in the workplace or the classroom. Next slide. In conducting our research, we found that over 70 million people worldwide are deaf, approximately 48 million Americans have some degree of hearing loss, and close to 1 million are functionally deaf. Of those 1 million, at least 500,000 know sign language as their native language. Knowing this and combining it with the example provided earlier, it is clear that in order to communicate effectively with everyone and include everyone in the conversation, creating the necessary tools to make sign language more readily accessible is essential. Next slide. As you realize the gravity of this problem, we thought of the broader issues that those in similar situations may face. One, it is difficult for people who speak sign language and those who do not to connect and communicate effectively due to the language barrier. And two, sign language translation apps available today do not allow for translation both ways and don't aid the entire conversation. Besides the example of the grocery store earlier, this barrier is cause for concern in a multitude of situations such as a job interview or trying to withdraw from the bank places where access can be limited without the aid of translation services, such as the one we are presenting. And now Tanaka will explain further. Next slide. Thank you so much, Hannah, for giving us such a wonderful background on how some of us are disadvantaged just because of our language barrier. So we did our market research and we created a survey and received 26 responses from a wide range of ages and genders across different educational levels from high school to postgraduate students. And from our responses, next slide, please. 100% of our responses do not completely rely on sign language. And 64.4% of, of the people answered that the application would be helpful. And around 96% do not know any application for translating sign language to speech. And when it comes to interactions between people, associated with sign language, the common theme was like, I try to use the symbol signs that I know. Next slide. And from the survey responded, responses we got, we conducted an interview with a person who had experience with sign language users in a workplace, Jaden Craven. So Jaden Craven is a salesperson, receives and interacts with customers who entirely depend on sign language. And from the interview, Jaden, thought maybe our application would be helpful because it would make people who use sign language feel more seen. And also it will make the conversation more fluid compared to writing based on his interactions on his with customers. Next slide. Yes, now we presented our competitive analysis. These are our main competitors, SignSpeak. Their solution, their solution is to use real-time translation to effectively enable businesses to easily communicate with people. This can be clients or employees that are deaf or hard of hearing. The next one is Slate. Slate uses AI to translate from ASL to text and then change speech to text during video calls. They aim to facilitate communication with the deaf or hard of hearing with the use of video calls. 
hands up translates from either text or speech into sign language. This can be American Sign Language or Brazilian Sign Language. It also helps you to learn the, these two sign languages with the help of their mascots. Their aim is to break with the barriers in the communication between people and who are deaf and hard of hearing with the rest of the world. This is a presentation a table of our key strength and downsides of these apps. You can pause and read it whenever you like. Next slide. For our solution, we are introducing an app called Signify that allows for real-time and in-person translation from speech to, to sign language and vice versa. With the use of our cameras in our phone, it is also a most portable and accessible way to communicate with family members, employees, and customers, and anybody that is deaf or hard of hearing and uses sign language as their everyday way to communicate. Next slide. Thanks, Luis, for that insight. Um, now the question is, how exactly does this work? Well, first we use the sign language data set um, via Kaggle Sign Language MNIST, and it contains um, 24 classes of gestures corresponding to each letter. So we first transformed the data, and then uh, we built the model using a convolutional neural network and multi-class classification to classify each of the gestures corresponding to letters. Then we trained the model for 50 epochs, which took about two hours, and we got the accuracy up to near 100 and the loss near to zero. And then we performed a uh, text to speech. Now in this demo, you'll see exactly that. And here it is. Apply app. Thanks. Now for the future, we aim to include text to gesture. Okay, and now for um, ethicality. Eth ethics were a really core consideration when we were making this app. So we really wanted um, those who relied on nonverbal communication to be more um, included in the society. And here are some of our future works. Thank you for listening in on our presentation.